in spags we trust that's the shirts that all the a lot of the defensive guys are wearing um man don't we this shirt is great did you get one of these you know it, baby dude that shirt is a great design that's a great freaking shirt oh yeah they held the ravens to just 10 points and held the nfl's number one rushing offense to just 81 yards and that was this was my thing i think everybody's thing going into the game can they stop the ravens rushing attack that's a key in uh, and they did it. They, I mean, well, they held them to 81 yards and um, forced three turnovers and four sacks. It was an impressive play uh, by the Chiefs defense that has been, you know, the best in the league for largely the entire season. Yeah, including maybe the play of the game when Legarius Sneed Snee! forcing a Zay Flowers fumble at the goal line. What a guy, man! Well, he wasn't really reaching though, right? He was kind of like going down, but. No, he was. I mean, he was. He was fully extended to try and get that thing across the goal line. Can't reach. And I'll tell you what, man. Zay Flowers is going to be a special player in this league. You told me this before the season even started. You saw him work out down in Texas with mm-hmm. Pat, and I don't even know if we can say that. But you saw. I well, mean, everybody no, he was just. That, right? We were all working out at the at what is it TCU? It just yeah. kind of like it wasn't like a scheduled hey, workout it was yeah. everybody was and i was just, just tweet- and i was just tweeting at mark schlereth uh because uh, you know i wanted to vote in the thing you know uh but anyways uh <laughs> zay flowers uh you said right away i asked which 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 of these guys did you think not to yeah i don't want to but you said right away this kid no out of the guys that were down there i was like give me that guy out of everybody that i saw down there i was like that man he's ready right now apparently the ravens do that too because he was very impressive all season long. Oh, an yeah. incredible rookie year. Hell yeah. uh, but uh, an unbelievable play here by Snee at the goal line. Just not giving up, baby. Most. On Knock the half yard line, baby. Golly, that was electric, man. It's that kind of those kind of plays, man, that that catapult you into the fucking Super Bowl, man. And um thank God we got Snee, baby. And this came after um a taunting penalty that was called on Flowers when he stood over Snee. I don't even know if we want to mention that. No, I mean you can mention it. It got called. I mean it is what it is. You can't the you know what it is? It's not the standing over as much. It's not the pushing them. It's the drop of the ball. You think so? The spin you can't spin the ball or like throw the ball at somebody or like that is the taunt. I don't think the, there's pushing and shoving after a play all the time. If you stand over somebody, they'll call that too though cuz I I've been called for it. I got called for standing over top of a guy. It's whatever. As much that was going on back and forth, that's a tough one. Yeah. Especially in a big play like that. That's a tough one. But we've talked about it before. We're pro taunting to a, to a degree. To you a know, degree. You got to let people's emotions and you, you want that back and forth a little bit. And I didn't, you know, whatever. Joey Burrow certainly agrees with us. Let the guys taunt. Let the guys taunt. <laughs> Normally okay, you Joe. see let the guys play, but I would just. <laughs> He just went right for the jugular. I don't want to see him play. I want to see him taunt. (laughs) I want to see him fucking yapping. Hell yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you though, Joey. That's great. There's an acceptable amount of it, right? And there's a part of it that makes it more exciting. You'd like seeing people's emotions fly. As long as you're not doing these ridiculous antics or whatever, um, if it's just a pure sign of aggression, like you just made a great play, whatever. Insane stat. The Chiefs defense has allowed four points per game in the second half over their last eight games. You want to talk about second half adjustments? My God. 32 total points in eight games in the second half. That is a remarkable stat for the Spags defense. That's fucking insane. It's crazy. Is Spags the most underrated coordinator in the NFL? I mean, I don't know that he's underrated at this point. I am a little bit surprised. I mean, I know his head coaching stint in St. Louis didn't go great. But St. I don't know. I don't want to say anything bad about an organization. That was a uh, whatever. That's a little surprised how. There. Yeah. I, <laughs> you don't got to say much. That's already been said, brother. I don't know, man. You see a lot of other people that are great coordinators in the NFL uh, getting head coaching, uh, you know, stuff cir- circling around. And I, I really do think what Spags has done this year, that entire defense has been truly uh, fun and exciting to watch. They have been great. And it's been consistent. I love going to war with him, man. I just love playing. I love I love being in the locker room. He's one of the most motivating guys or, and coaches that I've ever been around, man. Just always having the right frame of mind, the right positivity. You know, even when it's it, you need that toughness and somebody to motivate you and, and kind of like a get your shit going type of way, Spags does it in a respectable way. Uh, in a respectable way that guys can relate to and that can motivate them. You know, some guys just don't have that gauge. They can't gauge that. Sure. And, uh, and Spags has been able to kind of 
uh, get the best out of every single guy he's got, you know, all the way through the depth chart. And it just, it goes to show, you know, how much, uh, you know, there's, uh, how much we rely on him and the, and, and this stat right here, these 32 points in the second half is, I mean, that's gotta be close to a fucking record right there. I would assume. Uh, Yeah. You would think, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a pretty impressive, uh, Eight game stretch in the second second half. The guy found a way to stop Randy Moss and Tom Brady. How about that? Spags found a way to stop fucking Randy Moss and Tom Brady, and That's right. they were undefeated and fucking unstoppable. The most unstoppable, unstoppable has ever looked. <laughs> and Spags found a way to beat him. I mean, or at he, least he, slow it down. Yeah, I don't even. I mean, the score was not high. I remember that, but the to- two thousand seven Patriots Super Bowl, he did. Actually, I don't even remember. I don't remember what the score was. I'm pretty sure it was a low score game. Both teams right. under 20, I would assume. That's what it felt like. It's kind of like that was that 08, you know, not a lot out. I'm just kidding. Dude, Spags. In Spags, we trust. 